Linda here from ITTT, back with another live session, the first one in February. Yay, I'm excited. Super excited to be here. Thank you so much for tuning in, for taking some time out of your day today and to spend it with me. I really appreciate that. Um, today, what we're going to talk about is really just having a casual, what I like to call a TEFL TESOL Q&A. Let's have a chat. You can ask me your questions. I'm probably going to ask you some questions and we can have a chat. So today is your opportunity basically to ask anything related to TEFL, TESOL, teaching English abroad, online, um, anything you are curious about in this topic, in this area, in this field, feel free to ask. Like I always say, there are no stupid questions. Um, first off, let me know where you are right now in the world. Where are you watching from? What time is it there? How are you doing today? Let me know. I am in South Korea and it's 10 a.m. on a Friday. Uh, I'm super excited. It's Friday, 10 a.m. Um, let me know where you are. And there's a beautiful bird flying by. <laughs> Just got distracted. Anyway, where are you guys? Let me know. What time is it there? How are you feeling today? Let me know. Are you up for a TEFL TESOL Q&A chat, casual conversation? Then do let me know. And I also want to say, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You're already here if you haven't liked or followed or subscribed or anything like that yet. What are you waiting for? You have nothing to lose. You're already here. And we share a lot of content every day. So, um... Just become part of the family. That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. And you'll never miss any of our upcoming live sessions. We do go live twice a week. One time me and the other time my colleague Lisa. So there's a lot of good free stuff coming your way, really. So nothing to lose here. Just give us a like and a subscribe and a follow. And you know all of that stuff. We'd appreciate that. And uh, we also have a 30% off opportunity. Yay, a 30% off discount off of any TEFL or TESOL course from ITTT. So how can you get that? Um, let me skip over to yeah this one. So you can either scan this QR code right here just with your phone, um, scan it, and it will lead you to the 30% off application page. Or there's another option where you can simply... Um, click on the link that I'm sharing right now in the comment box. Give it one second. It looks like this. It ends with Facebook Live minus Linda. And this one will also get you 30% off. So you can just click on this link and it will um, lead you to the application page. You fill out this application um, and then you'll see your 30% discount. You pick your course, the course that you want to take, and then 30% off. So... There you go. All right, let me take a look at where you are, everybody. Okay, here we have Be Happy Be Yourself, who is a non-native English teacher from India. Wow, that's awesome. And you've completed your TESOL course, the 120 hours. Awesome. Cool. And we have Dieu Franc Felisme from Brazil, and it's 10 p.m. All right, cool, Brazil. That's on my list. I really want to go to Brazil. I really want to go everywhere, honestly, but Brazil is up there. Abuse free. Love it. Georgia. Is that Georgia the country or Georgia the U.S. state? A little bit different. So let us know. <laughs> uh, we have 10 p.m. in Argentina. Hi, Franco. Awesome. Ooh, 4 a.m. in Izmir, Turkey. Wow. Thanks so much for staying up and watching this session. <laughs> that's great if you don't make it until the end you can always watch the replay that's the good thing about these lives we always keep them in our playlist on youtube and also on facebook so you can always go back and re-watch if you miss it we have juliana good to see you again from illinois 7 p.m okay cool very very cool oh and you got heavy snow yesterday oh cool i hope you are okay <laughs> well, snow can be fun, but too much snow can is not really fun, is it? Do you do any winter sports? That's what I would do. Is Illinois, like, can you do skiing there? I have no idea, actually. 
All right, and we already have a first question here from uh, Be Happy Be Yourself. What kind of jobs can I find in Canada? And there's more. I was seriously looking for a TEFL job in Canada, but it seems they need a degree. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine that um, for Canada, you do need a degree, um, at least a bachelor's degree, a four-year degree, um, preferably obviously also in TEFL or TESOL, but that's not usually, um, you know, it's a bonus. It's not a requirement. But I do think that for Canada, the requirements are definitely a little bit more stricter compared to maybe countries in Asia, for example where there are even countries where you don't need a degree to teach but those are typically um either latin america or southeast asia so yeah but um we do have a job section on our website so maybe let me share that with you um and you can actually browse by um by country or filter by country so um you can filter by canada and check it out and I also did a live session about um, tips, how to find a TEFL job online and also in person, in class abroad. Um, so I did that and maybe you can go in the, in the playlist and rewatch that as well. So this is our website. This is the job section on our website. You can access that. Um, and as an ITTT course graduate, you also have access to lifetime job support. So if you have not um, contacted us yet directly, you can also do so. Um, and I'm going to share this email address. Mm. Courses at tsol-tefl.com. This is where you can send all of your questions that you have and also for um, job support for ITTT course graduates. Um, but yeah, and you were saying, but while taking the course, they told me I could find a job immediately after completing the certification for 120 hours. Yeah, you. it means right after you complete the course, you can apply for a job and you can start working. Obviously, it depends on many other things, right? I mean, it depends on hiring seasons, the job market. Um, so the, the certificate enables you to teach right away after you complete the course. But it obviously also takes time to find a job, right? It's not like magically, magically appearing. <laughs> depending on where you want to teach, you also need to um, spend some time applying and looking for jobs and interviewing, which takes time. So um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and those are those times, um, how long it can take is kind of different um, depending on where you want to um, teach. But I actually have, let me see, on my slides. I have, yeah, this is our, or my personal, I kind of made this up, um, but this is what we use um, or what I like to use in terms of explaining kind of how long it takes from taking the course to actually teaching. Um, is this too small? This might be too small. Let me just change it real quick. Um, so basically this is what I call the TEFL timeline. And as you can see, there are five steps. So it starts with choosing your TEFL course, your TESOL course. That's your first step. Because also there are many different courses and you need to kind of first um, figure out, hey, which course is right for me? And then you would, um, that also takes some time. Uh, but obviously we at ITTT will help you with that. So you will tell us in your consultation, um, hey, this is what I want to do. So I want to go there or I want to teach online. I want to go to Mexico or I want to go to China. Or So it depends on what kind of course you choose. Then you choose the course. Number two is you work through the units. So depending on what course you choose, this uh, can be quicker or takes more time. Some courses have more units than others. Um, after you have completed your course successfully, you've passed, you will then receive, this is number three, your hard copy certificate. Actually, as soon as you complete your course, you will receive a digital version of your certificate, like a PDF version, 
which um, already allows you to start applying for jobs. And then you're waiting to receive the hard copy one in the mail, which takes a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. It depends on, um, you know, where you are in the world. We ship it for free worldwide. It can take up to four weeks. Um, typically, I think it's two weeks, um, something like that. And then you receive that. But honestly, typically, you will not even need that um, right away. You usually only need the hard copy certificate in cases like I know in China, if you want to go and teach in China, because a TEFL certificate is a requirement to teach in China. So you actually need to show your certificate to the embassy to get your work visa. But typically for just applying, because you apply online, you don't actually need to have your hard copy certificate. Um, that is that. Yeah. Then number four, you apply for jobs after you completed the course and then you do interviewing, etc. And number five, you start teaching. So this can take anywhere from four to six months and more. Right. So for people who want to go like abroad to like, let's say Korea, because that's where I live and you want to work for the EPIC program, which is a government run program that places teachers into public schools. They hire almost one year in advance. So that's when you need to start, right? So it can even take up to a year or more, depending on where you want to go and teach. But also quicker, if you already have a job lined up or you want to teach English online or you want to teach English, um, you know, in a country where you don't need a visa. So, yeah, that is that. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Yeah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> awesome. Good. All right. Welcome, welcome. I see a lot of new people have joined. So let me know where you are right now. Where in the world are you watching from? I'm in South Korea. I just do a little bit of a introduction because I didn't do that yet. So my name is Linda. I am on the one side, a travel writer and content creator here. Uh, under my name or handle, Linda Goes East. I also have my own website, lindagoeseast.com. And I'm very active on in Instagram if you want to check that out and give me a follow. And many of you actually have reached out to me via DM, personal message on Instagram. I really always enjoy that, having a conversation. Maybe you, don't, you have a question that you don't want to ask here in front of everybody. That's cool. You can just send me a message. Um, I'm originally from Germany and the U.S., but I am based in South Korea. Um, then I'm also, that's why I'm here, a Teflon TESOL marketing professional for ITTT. ITTT, which stands for International Teflon and TESOL Training. And our website is teflcourse.net. On Instagram, we are International Teflon Training, but we're also on uh, Facebook. Many of you are watching on Facebook right now. Um, also YouTube, where some of you are watching from. Um, we also do Pinterest. We do have a Tefl blog. We do a lot of different things. So um, check us out. And what is ITTT? ITTT is a leading Tefl and TESOL course provider worldwide. We offer a wide variety of different courses from online to in-class to combined, um, really everything under the sun and moon. <laughs> All right. Good. So that's enough about me. Now, your turn. Your turn. So ask me your questions about TEFL, TESOL, something that you're not quite sure about. Um, maybe somewhere you want to go teach. Um, anything. Anything really. What is holding you back from pursuing this lifestyle this career path at the moment there's something holding you back you're not quite sure about something there are no stupid questions ask me let me know <laughs> i hope i'll be able to answer them <laughs> also maybe a question for you guys where would you like to teach where would you like to teach where would you like to teach? I think I have a slide about the countries. Somewhere here in the beginning. Yeah. Where would you like to teach? Where? Oh, 
Oh, great. Jorge, thank you. Ha hello, do you need to be a native speaker to work in South Korea for the program you applied for? Yes, unfortunately, you do at the moment. So they only in Korea accept... So English teachers in Korea get an E2 visa. That's the, the visa for English teachers. And to get this visa, you need to be... Um, you need to have a passport from one of seven English-speaking countries, and that is um, Canada, America, U.S., um, Ireland, the U.K., South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Those seven. If you have a passport from one of those countries, then you can apply. Now, there are also people who come to Korea um, under a different passport. So, for example, um, in my case, my husband is Korean um, and we we got married. Yeah, that's why he's my husband. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, and I got a different visa. But this visa is a spousal visa and this allows me to live and work in Korea. So I do have an American passport, but I have two passports, American and German. So if I only had my German passport... But because I have this spousal visa, this other visa, which allows me to live and work here, I could also work as an English teacher. So there are other types of visas that you can look into and some may fit your case. And then you could also go to Korea. And I know that in the EPIC program, there's also um, a special case for Indian nationals. Um, if you have an Indian teaching license from India, um, then and you have all the other requirements like a bachelor's degree, um, a TEFL certificate, um, all of that stuff, then you can also apply for this program. I hope that helped. <laughs> Yeah, so um, a lot of actually non-native speakers, they kind of opt for Japan. Japan also has a teaching pro program, which is the EPIC program, and they um, accept anyone. Um, also fluent non-native speakers. So maybe if you're interested in, um, you know, East Asia, East Asian culture, maybe you can look into Japan instead, if that, if K Korea really doesn't work. Hello, Matyur. Good to see you from Bangladesh. Awesome. Great. Yeah, so that's why I put up this uh, map real quick. So where's the demand? And really, um, the demand for English language teaching is everywhere. Um, it's really everywhere. Um, there are some regions or some countries that have an especially high demand. Um, or also countries that run these government-funded programs for teaching English abroad. I did a live session about those before. Um, it's called, I think, the best government-funded programs for teachers or something like that. You can find it in a playlist. But there are quite a few, um, which are great for people who are kind of new to teaching abroad, I think, because these programs, they typically offer a lot of support. Someone will pick you up from the airport. You have like an orientation. You'll meet other people. You have some guidance. You have like a person you can always ask for stuff. Um, so um, those are good for people who have, um, you know, no experience with moving abroad and stuff like that. Um, so I recommend those. And those are like in, those are, those can be found in Europe. Um, also in Latin America are some. And uh, most of them are in Asia. Yeah, these programs. Um, but you can also find, you know, most... That's actually what I talked about last week, right? Where um, most Eng English language teachers actually work. So I talked about the different types of schools. And the most common type of school for an English teacher um, to work at, or a TEFL teacher, is a private language institute, private language academy. Um so there's a huge demand literally all over the world. And I showed you a couple of different ways how to find these positions, um, I think, the week before. So do check that out as well. Okay, we have Jim Michael. <laughs> Great name. What about teaching English in France? Yeah, France is also a good market. 
They are also hiring English teachers. They also have a program. It's called TAPIF. Let me see if I can. We have, we actually have a very good FAQ section on our website, if you didn't know. And um, I'm going to send you some information about this French program from our website real quick. So it's called the TAPIF program for teaching English in France. This is the link to our FAQ page, and you can read up on that. But it stands for um, Teaching Assistant Program in France. And this is a government initiative that places applicants into French state schools to work as teaching assistants. Um, to qualify for this program, though, you need to have French language skills. You need to have at least a B1 in French and a university education, so a university degree, um, yeah. But if you don't know any French, you can always find a teaching position in a private language institute as well. Yeah, hey, hi, Olua. Thank you for asking the questions. So uh, you're asking any advice for teaching English in Italy? I don't have a TEFL or TESOL qualification yet. Good, yes, Italy, uh, let me see. So usually what a lot of people do, and we also have information about this. Um, for Italy, if you do not have an EU passport, um, where is this link? Yeah, so what a lot of people do in order to teach English in Italy, they will actually um apply at a one second pasting these links okay facebook live minus limit here they will actually apply in italy for a student visa a language learner visa um and you will actually take italian language classes you get a student visa and with this student visa you are also allowed to teach a certain amount of lessons or classes a week so that's what a lot of people do who do not have an eu passport for people who do have an eu passport you can just start applying um, for jobs after you've completed the tefl what one of our other um, students did, and he sometimes watches these live sessions. I don't know if he's here. He actually did the four-week in-class TEFL course in Rome. So that's also what a lot of people do. They go take the in-class TEFL course, which is four weeks. Um, and uh, then look for a job there while they're still there. So that's also an option. Or the center, the in-class center, will help you find a job then. Yeah, good question. Do I need the qualification for this? No. So um, I don't think so. Um, have a look at the link and see. There are some requirements, but um, because it's a student visa, they don't. You don't need to have any, any, anything really. Um, so this can get you over there and then you can start looking for a school where you can work at. And for that, you would need to have some kind of, you know, certification then. A TEFL, maybe even some experience or um, a degree. It depends on the school. So you can browse. I recommend you browsing our job section for jobs in Italy to see what the requirements typically are. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, yeah, you're very welcome. Then we have Jim Michael. Is there an age limit? Uh, age limit for France? Uh, it will say that on the page. I'm not quite sure now. Um, perhaps. Some do, um, but the age limits are typically high, um, like 60. So you should be okay. Okay. 
All right, Juliana has a question here. I would like to teach English in Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. I also love to teach English online. Before the pandemic, I really enjoyed teaching ESL to my Korean student in person. Great, yeah. I mean, they are still hiring at the moment um, for South Korea. For the JET program, EPIC program, they are hiring. Yeah, so <laughs> go for it. Just go for it. Just do it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Let's see what else we can talk about. And keep your questions coming. That's really, really great. Um, I'm enjoying that. Yeah, we talked about this. Mm, yeah, so many people were asking about the requirements for teaching. Um, it really depends. It varies from place to place, right? From school to school, from country to country. It just really depends. Um, so as you can see, these are common requirements, like a bachelor's degree, but it usually doesn't have to be in the field of education. It can be any major. Teaching experience, but that's usually just a plus. Um, sometimes required for other positions, like more higher positions. Teaching English can be a career for both native and non-native English speakers. And what you need is adaptability. You need to be able to adapt to a new culture and new country and just eagerness to learn new things. You should have that too. But like I said earlier, there are also places and schools where you can actually work without having a degree. It's a little bit more slim or narrow, but um, they are out there, so. I think I did a live before places where countries where you can teach without a degree. You can also find that in our playlist. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Which TEFL course is right for me? How do you pick your right TEFL course, right? If you haven't taken one yet. So at ITTT, we offer anything really from 50 to 550 hours of training. Um, however, the international standard usually is 100 hours plus, or nowadays it's 120 hours. So the 120 hour TEFL course is our most popular one because it's just the standard nowadays. Um, we do have wi a wide variety of courses really to suit all needs. We have specialization courses like teaching specifically children, teaching business English, teaching online. They're all internationally accredited and accepted worldwide. So um, that is what we do. And I think, yeah, this is a little bit of information about the 120 hour course. Um, like I said, it is the most popular one. It's 100% online, so you can complete this at your own pace, which is super convenient, super flexible. If you are working, if you don't have so much time, um, doesn't matter. You have six months. You have up to six months to complete this course, and typically most people finish it within three months, four months. It took me, I think, three and a half months when I was working full-time. Um back in the day when I did it. There are 20 units of this course, kind of split half and half between teaching methodology and grammar. Um, at the end, you will receive an embossed hard copy certificate directly to your door, um, no matter where you live in the world. And we also have notarization services available. I know that um, a lot of employers in China, they want this extra stamp on the TEFL certificate. And I believe also sometimes in Vietnam, what I've heard, um, and yeah, this course starts at 249 for the non-tutored version and 339 with tutor. So I just want to mention again that we do have this 30% off opportunity. So you will pay much, much less than this price if you sign up with the link that I shared with you today. Let me just share this again because I know some people just joined later. Maybe you didn't see it or hear about it. This is it. And if you're listening to this as a podcast, just look for it in the podcast description, episode description. We always turn our um, live sessions into podcast episodes, if you didn't know. So you can find us on all, wherever you are getting your podcasts from, that's where we all are also. Um, it's called the Teffel and TESOL podcast by ITTT. 
if you prefer just the listening part of this. <laughs> so yeah, and we recently just hit 10,000 downloads. So so yeah, this is it. 30% um, discount. Um, we also, th these are the specializations and um, they start at 175 US dollars. Um, so with 30% off, you're not going to pay a lot. Um, which is really great. And then what else we got? Yeah, we also have bundles. Worth mentioning, actually. Because uh, with bundles, usually you save more money. So if you get, for example, if we take a look at this first bundle here. This is actually what I did, what I took. So this is the 120 hour plus 50 hour business English plus 50 hour teaching English to young learners. So you get three courses in one. And if you purchase this bundle, it's actually going to be cheaper. And then you can also use this 30% off discount and it's just going to be very affordable. And you're going to be, you're going to have actually 220 hours of training um, and you will stand out from the crowd a little bit. So that is a good thing. Here we have a question from Marcia. Hi. All right, she says, hi, Linda, I'm already doing the 120 hour course, but I feel that I need to make something to refresh my English as I've been teaching for 16 years, but not using the language as it should be. And my level of English is not as good as it used to. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of resources for, you know, freshing up your English. I actually myself, I'm teaching English and German. If you're interested, you can let me know reach out to me and maybe um, I can help you out. I can create custom lessons or I also do a lot of conversation classes where we just discuss um, certain topics. Um, so if that's what you're interested in, any one of you also do let me know. Um, I would love to work with you all. That'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, let me see. I think that's it with the courses. Yeah, and then I already talked a little bit about those, the in-class TEFL courses. Like I said, there are four weeks that you spend at a location of your choice. Um, so that is also happening. And then we also have a combined course, which combines the benefits of the online course with the benefits of the in-class course into one. So you would first complete an online component of the course, and then you would spend uh, between five and 10 days at a training center to get teaching practice. That is the combined course option. Okay. All right, putting this on again and making myself a little bit bigger. So keep your questions coming. It's super important. Um, I usually do these casual Q&As always the first uh, week of the month. And then the other three weeks, I would do other topics. So today's a good opportunity for you to ask away. All right, with Belen. Hi. I feel really delighted with the professional package. I'm doing the diploma section. Uh has been hard but impressive i've learned a lot thanks for sharing this info any comments for ecuador would be awesome cool do you live in ecuador that's awesome cool yeah um i don't know if you heard that earlier but uh we did share uh, just one second we did share um the job section the job section of our website and you can filter by Ecuador. So you can check out Ecuador jobs on there. It will look like this. But since you are an ITTT course graduate, um, you also get lifetime job support. So you can just reach out to us uh, via email. If you had a tutor, ask your tutor. Um, I also shared this email address. It looks like this. Courses at tsol-teflo.com. Email us and let us know you're interested in Ecuador. Um, or you can just browse this um, website here, our, our job board for Ecuador jobs. And I also recommend you checking out one of my previous lives. I think it was maybe two weeks ago, a week ago. I have to check. Um, where I talked about 
in two weeks ago, I think, where I talked about um, how to find jobs, teaching jobs, so different resources. Um, so I recommend you check that out as well. A lot of good tips in there. Awesome. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed the professional package. That is great. Very good. Yeah, the professional package is that the 470 hour one. I always get those two mixed up. Yeah, expert package is the highest, 550, and then the professional package is 470. So that's all of those plus the diploma. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Good choice. Nice. You'll be set up um, for finding a good job there. All right. <laughs> Let me see if I have any questions for you. Hmm. Yeah, I asked that earlier where you would like to teach. Hmm. Just keep your questions coming. <laughs> I think that's the best way to go about. Keep your questions coming. It's really good. It's helpful. Helpful for me, helpful for you guys. Also, if you have any topic suggestions for upcoming live sessions, what you would like me to talk about, what you'd like me to share, um, you can also let me know. Because uh, sometimes we've done this now over a year, um, every week, and it sometimes can be a little bit hard to find fresh and new topics to talk about, but um, <laughs> trying my best. So if you have any requests, special requests for topics, let me know. I'm always up for it. Good. <laughs> we still have some time, so don't be shy. And like I always say, there are no stupid questions. Um, but let me see what else I can talk about a little bit. We did that. Uh... <laughs> really? Oh, maybe you need to check. Okay. Belen says, uh, my country is not there. Ecuador is not there. Then I think you need to go to... Hold on. I think they have one specifically for Latin America. Other Latin America. Click on that. Other Latin America. Because maybe Ecuador, jobs in Ecuador are not mm, so many at the moment. Um, that can be one, but please do check out the live session I did from two weeks ago where I share, I think, seven or eight different resources, how to find a job, a teaching job that can really help you. You can also apply that for Ecuador. <laughs> I, I have seen um, job offers from Ecuador before on our website, um, so they are there. We do have some. Maybe not that many. And even if um, the job offers maybe are old. Oh, here. Yeah, there is one from Ecuador. In Loja. I think that's how you say it. Oh, here too. Yeah, there are a few. They are a little bit older. But you can still contact them because jobs, teaching jobs, they always rotate. They always open again because the teachers then maybe they only stay for a year and then they move on. So typically language schools are always looking. So even if a job posting is older, um, you can still check them out. Actually, yes. When you go here to other Latin America, there are a couple of Ecuador ones. They are a little bit older, but like I said, you can still reach out to them and see um, maybe right now they're looking again. So do that. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. <laughs> we still have some time. So if anybody's curious about something, um, 
TEFL teaching related, let me know. We still have some time. And do take advantage of that 30% off if you're not yet TEFL certified. Um, it will really help you. 30% is a lot. And we only share that during our live sessions. So it's very special. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, if there are no more questions, we can also stop here. Um, but I just want everybody to feel um, like they have a chance to ask a question. So if anyone who's watching right now still has a question, um, feel free to ask. That's why I'm here. Um, you know, no matter how detailed or how broad your question is, doesn't matter. You can ask away. I'm just going to have some more tea. While I wait for your answers and I want more hot tea. Is anyone going to watch the Olympic ceremony tonight? Well, tonight, our time, but the opening ceremony for the Olympics. That's my plan for tonight. We'll see. <laughs> Got some popcorn ready. I'm going to watch that tonight. I'm excited for it. It's nice because the 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 one the Winter Olympics before this year was in Korea. So it was really cool. It was nice. The opening ceremony in Korea was nice and um I lived in China before. So China is very dear to my heart, so I'm excited to see that opening ceremony as well and how they do it. So Okay, well, I don't want to just ramble, so um, we might just stop here today. Um, if you have any questions, you can also leave them in the comments, and we will get back to them even after this live. Um, also, if you're watching a replay, and we can then also get back to comments um, later on, do check out our playlist for previous um, live sessions. You will find some useful information there. And like I said, do give us a like and a follow. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, we share a lot of interesting content every day, especially on our Facebook page, a lot of stuff there. Um, also like seasonal stuff. We have a lot of like Valentine's things coming up that you can use in your classroom for teaching activities and things so do check that out we also share job offers on our facebook page um and just in general useful links and videos um all free like these live sessions completely free you can take advantage of that we will be back again next week my colleague lisa i think she always goes live now monday monday or tuesday and she's a non-native english speaker from russia who taught english in china and she's teaching English mainly online now, back home in Russia. So she has a lot of really good tips for non-native English speakers to become teachers. So do check her out. And even I learned so much from her. She's actually the reason why I got into online teaching. Because I watched one of her lives and um, it was just so great and inspiring. And I just signed up. And um, yeah, yesterday I got an email from my online teaching platform that I've been on the platform now for one year. So congrats to me. <laughs> one year already. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Let me see. I have a comment here from Marcia. Thanks for everything again, dear Linda. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. You, Yes, you too. And feel free to reach out to me if you want to do any English conversation or English lessons that would be really cool. Um, so just let me know. Jim Michael, thanks. I enjoyed this live session. Learned a lot. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'd love to see you again next week. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Have a wonderful weekend. Also, Juliana, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for always tuning in every week. I really appreciate that. I hope everybody has a lovely weekend and, um, yeah, stay safe. 
Um, and I hope to see you all again next week. All right. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.